Okay, we're going to talk about place value and comparing decimals. You need to really understand place value before you can compare decimals, and I'll show you why. If you look at the place value um, chart here, you see that the decimal is right here and have rather large number. It's really important to understand what the relationship is between each of these numbers and um, the value of each of these numbers before you can compare any decimal. Um, so from the decimal to the right, we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. And then on the left, it's just like counting money, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands, and so on. So if you have the decimal there and you're reading this number seven, well, this number seven would be read as seven tenths. This number three would be read as three hundredths. This number one would be read as one thousandths, so, and so on. So you kind of have to know these place values in your head before you can move on to making fractions out of them and understanding place value and, and comparing. So this is a good thing to relook at and make sure you have straight in your head. Okay, assuming you do know those, we can start to compare place values here. What you do um, when you wanna compare two numbers that are decimals is you start from left and work to right in each of the numbers. Now, sometimes you can write the numbers one on top of another um, to see them clearly. But we know on the left here we have three, two, five, same on the right, three, two, five, and then we have the decimal. And then again, we both have seven, four, and here's where the numbers start to become different. We have a three and a two. Everything else on the left is the same. So if three is greater than two, then this number right here is going to be greater than the second number. So um, we do the same thing with the next problem. We look to start from the left, two, and then the decimal, seven, and then here's the second number from the decimal. These are different. And we know the two and the seven are the same. The four and the six obviously are different. So six is greater than four. So that means this first number is less than the second number. If you wanted to, you could rewrite this number right underneath, 2.7. Six. And you might be able to see it more clearly. These two are the same, these two, and here's where they're different. And you can clearly see that the bigger number is the bottom one. Okay, let's try another example. Okay. In this case, we have 4.4. Is it less than or greater than or equal to 4.44? Well, um, again, we can rewrite this like this, 4.4, and then here's the other number, 4.4. 4, 4, and then we're going to start from left to right. Well, 4 is the same in the top and bottom. Again, the 4s are the same in top and bottom. And what's in this little spot right here is a 0. So you're just comparing these two numbers right here. So in that case, 4 is greater than 0. So 4 and 44 hundredths would be greater than four and four tenths, or four and four tenths is less than four and 44 hundredths. And that's really it. So review your place value and um, try a couple of problems in practice.